Hi, Julia. I'm waving to you. Hi. <laughs> hey, guys. What's going on? Uh, it's me, Mr. Scary Muffin. I'm joined with Julia, which means we got Pokemon action going on today. Uh, let me explain a little bit of what happened. Basically, we had the pre-release for the new set called Plasma Freeze. And this is going to be the set that's for the national tournament. This is going to be the set that's going to be for the world tournament as well. So it's a really, really important set. And uh, w what happened was the local organizers, we got uh, BDA and Ricky Gao, they did a kind of a mock tournament where we had a double elimination, uh, 16 players, and we were allowed to print out copies of the cards in paper form and build our decks using that. So we, if, even if we didn't have the actual cards, which nobody did because the cards hasn't come out yet, uh, but we can build decks and we can try out new decks with the new format. So all these kinds of stuff, a lot of new ideas throwing around, um, but let's get right into it, shall we? Start the match. This is a first round match between Ken on the left, left. and who's on the right? Right. Oops, I can hear Are myself. Can hear myself again. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Who's on the, uh, the right side there? It's Christian. Uh, Christian, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we, we got a lot of people from the local leagues, um, and they pulled you know, some people who have been contributing to the community and that kind of stuff so we can get things going on. Ken is a fairly strong player. He won regionals last year yep. and uh, won himself a trip to Toronto for to play in the Nationals, which is the reason why you went to the Nationals yep. last year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got we all became roomies and we were all hanging out there, which is awesome because it means, you know, cost-wise to get there was a lot less. And uh, we all got to hang out and have fun and, you know, play test together and everything, so it's good. That's great. And on the right is Christian, uh, who has been a really big supporter of a lot of the stores, and he recently started his own league at the uh, the Metro uh, comic book store. I don't even remember the name of it, but yeah. It's so comics and games, I think. So something like that, yeah. It used to be a Metro Town, but then they moved out just outside of Metro Town. I guess it was cheaper or something. I am, of course, using my new webcam, courtesy of Julia. Thank you so much. No problem. <laughs> so Ken is playing a Ray Eels deck here, and he's actually got uh, Victini in there as well. Um, we weren't really expecting to see a lot of clean. We were expecting to see a lot of Thunderous Deoxy, which is supposedly the best deck in format. Uh, with and they're both they're both new cards from the new set. Thunderous has a one energy attack that uh, accelerates energy out of the discard pile, and uh, Deoxy gives a big buff to all Plasma Pokemons uh, on your side. But Ken, he likes his Eels, so he's going to play an Eels deck, which a lot of people are probably familiar with uh, by now. And Christian is playing some sort of big basic rogue-ish thing. He's got a Terrakion, no doubt, is uh, meant to deal with the Thunderous. And we saw a really strong strong start from Ken here, actually. He got two Tynos uh, and an Emolga and a Rayquaza turn one, and mm -hmm. he called for family for his other uh, Rayquaza and Victini as well. I'm guessing Christian was hoping for a uh, Landris if he runs it um, in the switch there to take out that Tynamo turn one. That's probably my guess why he captured it, as well as just to cost Ken one if he has to retreat it. So it would be, he was hoping for a energy, Landorus, and a switch. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of cards <laughs> to get off six, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's, he's got the Lunatone going on, and uh, he uses the Lunatone ability to take a look at the top two cards and put it away. Um, he kind of put the cards with his hand there a little bit. Uh, it's very, very sketchy stuff, but no doubt uh, it's just I, honest I mistake. I know Ken would be watching that, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he would be the first one on the eyes anything was going a little fishy. Mm-hmm. Oh, and another nice move. Now an Ultra Ball getting some energy in the discard, I'm guessing, for an eel here. Mm -hmm. Well, no doubt he's got the Victini down because he's hoping yep. to uh, Turbo Accelerate. Mm -hmm. um, two turns of that, you can have Rayquaza be able to destroy anything. Uh, right now, he, all he needs is just one turn, even. Exactly, yeah. All he needs is to just manually attach one, mm -hmm. and he'd be good to go. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, I don't know. How do you like the Victini EX? The Victini EX is, you know, low HP, 110. Yeah. Uh, so... It's low HP for something that gives up two prizes. Yeah, that that's my issue with it. I think if you can get it out really quickly, it, it can be really good. I just, you know, it's definitely not a very great mid-delay game. Well, then again, it depends on what your opponent has, but um, I just find that it's really useful if you can get it up right away, but it's pretty much just a sitting duck for prizes because almost anything after a few turns, your opponent will be able to, to one-hit knock it out, right? Mm -hmm. So um, it's pretty much just two free prizes, but, I mean, obviously your goal is to take your six before they do. So. 
Right. <laughs> and I mean, if he, if they're hitting the Victini EX, they're not hitting the Eels, which is, you know, the heart and soul as well. So that helps a little bit. Um, it becomes that one extra turn of them taking those two prizes instead of an Eels only you need, so. Yeah. And, you know, looking at uh, Christian's early game right now, he has a pretty weak time, so it gives Ken that moment to uh, use it. But he has to pass here, so he doesn't, he, he isn't able to turbo energize. Um, so that Victini, you know, depreciating in value as the turns go by because you really can't afford to use that turbo uh, energize in later turns. Yeah. We saw Ken had played down a Colrus as his supporter per turn last turn. And Colrus does is uh, you shuffle your hand into your deck and you draw a card for every Pokemon on uh, both yours and your opponent's bench. So in that case, he drew uh, seven cards. Yeah. So that's actually a really strong card in format right now. Uh, when Big Basics was prominent in the format, it wasn't as strong because you know people would just play down one or two Pokemon on their bench, and you're not going to get as much value out of Colrus. But now, uh, especially with Thunder's Deoxy being the go-to Big Basic deck and requires lots of Deoxys on the bench, you can get up to 10 cards off Colrus, which is I've amazing. Done it. <laughs> I, it's, it happens more frequently than later uh, than you know whatever. Um, you see you end up colorsing somewhere between 7 and 10 in most of the decks that run it. Yeah. Because obviously you run it if you know you're going to be taking more bench space. Right. So. And the only time Colorus is a bad card is usually on your very first turn. Um, <laughs> and So, I mean, a lot of people are running 2 or 3 even uh, Colorus in their deck. I think 3 is really risky, but I know a lot of people are kind of swearing by it a little bit. As well, uh, so there's he's that. He's really helpful, but like you said, two turn one's not. Yeah. Not there. But he's ultra balling now. Got rid of that Verbank. Yeah. So Did unless it? Christian runs uh, three Verbanks, if Ken yeah. drops the Sky Arrow Bridge right now, that'll remove Verbank forever, pretty much. That's yeah. That's what I was thinking too. But yeah, I, I'm guessing Ken doesn't run lasers, but who knows with that guy? You know? <laughs> <laughs> he might be running lasers. And just if he can fit lasers and Victini into his deck, okay. oh, that's a lot of cards. <laughs> But I'm guessing he runs Sky Arrow. Yeah, most likely he's got a Sky Arrow in there. That was, that, Christian must have had to have got rid of that then, I'm guessing. Um, otherwise, I mean, you know, like you said too, that can get a little bit risky, right? Um, in case Ken just drops the Sky Arrow and that's it. Alright, so Ken uh, is going to put up a second eel here. It's making it a little bit harder for him to retreat, but... but he might be junipering, too. Yeah. So he might just want to evolve it in, while he's there. But it looks more like a colrus. Yeah. yeah. It is. Okay, yeah. So well, I mean, get it out of your hand so then you don't exactly. draw back into it later. Yeah. The powers of deck thinning. See, for me, like myself, I don't run Victini. I run Keldeo instead. So my fifth bench space would have been Keldeo here. Um which in some cases helps, right? But mm -hmm. at this point, the retreat cost is the same. <laughs> so it doesn't make a huge difference. Yeah. It plays, um, it's nice. Well, Keldeo is especially useful with uh, the new card, Floatstone, which is a Pokemon tool. You attach it to a Pokemon, and it makes that Pokemon retreat zero. So, I mean, if Ken doesn't run Sky Arrow, but instead runs Keldeo and Floatstone, which is two cards, but, you know, Keldeo is useful as oh, well. And there's, That's, there's, there's a Floatstone. So it hints that there might be a Keldeo in this deck. And um, people who do run the the, the Caldeo Floatstone usually runs two Floatstones. That way, if one gets tool scrap, you can put another one yeah. on. And people rarely play more than one uh, tool scrapper in their decks. Um, but then if you're playing Sableye, you have infinity tool scrappers. <laughs> or infinity enhanced hammers, as I found out. <laughs> oh, yes. So that match we're not going to be showing, right? Um, Julia and I both were in this <laughs> tournament, and the game that we did record for ourselves was a blowout, a complete terrible game, so we're not going to be showing those, but we do have a for oh. fun game. Oh, Ken just celestial roared and got rid of his computer search ultra ball. Ouch. But did get an energy. Oh, so one energy. That, yeah, <laughs> but a lightning, which he'd probably prefer to have seen a fire there. Yeah. Ouch, yeah. so that computer search, that's going to hurt. <laughs> Almost anything would have been better than that. <laughs> well, would you prefer dowsing machine or computer search in uh, eels here? See, it's a really tough choice, but I actually, because I mean, either one is going to help you out at different points. I find computer search I prefer myself simply because I just need to get stuff really quickly early game, mm -hmm. which dowsing yeah. machine can help with. But a lot of the stuff I still need is oftentimes still in my deck. So um, oh, cool. usually I find computer search is helpful more than, of course, dowsing machine is better late game. Mm -hmm. uh, but I find you know if I'm doing really badly late game, it's 
one dowsing machine is not going to really help me out. Um, most of the time, uh, it's better to kind of get a quick start with rate, uh, rate yields because, I mean, you want to be quick. Uh, so I find that I personally prefer computer search, but I definitely wouldn't hold it against anybody using dowsing machine. Too. All right, so a laser going down, uh, that will poison the eel, and three turns later, it will, or two turns later, it will die. If Ken doesn't uh, manage to get retreated, he did flip tails on the sleep part of the poison hypnotic laser, so um, at least he could be, you know, able to manually retreat if he gets another float stone or whatever. And was that his first attachment by Christian there? Yeah, wow, Christian's been low on energies. Uh, very slow game for him. He, no doubt, uh, Christian's hoping to get into the second attack, which is a three energy attack for that Terrakian EX in the active spot. Yeah. Uh, allows him to attach additional energies from his hand to his Pokemon. And um, no doubt that Buffalo uh, over there, that colorless card at the top, right, he wants to use that to kill the Victini because the Buffalo does 120 damage to EXs and it will one-shot that Victini, take it out of the game, gives him two free prizes. Which at this point it kind of looks like he might need. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He might, well, I mean, one of the cool things about that is you can leave that Victini EX until the very end. Yeah. If you know you have your remaining catchers, uh, Christian has already burned two catchers pulling up eels, so he has two more left in his deck, or they might be in his prizes. If he knows they're f there for sure, he can really thin himself out and save those last two prizes. And it's one of those planning ahead things where you want to go, okay, I want to take a prize here, 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 and that's going to be my six, right? It doesn't always go that way, but for the most part, you want to have a route to your own victory set out uh, ahead of time. Oh, there's the second float stone. Yeah, float stones definitely help your eels, hey? You just have pretty much a permanent, you know, switch attached to your guys. Yeah, you don't even have to worry about getting those switches back again later on. Yeah. But having two does leave him open for a tool scrapper, so... Yes. That is the one other thing. But maybe he doesn't have a switch, maybe he does need to attach it right now. Uh, he probably still runs switches, I imagine. Oh, I, yeah. yeah. But I'm just wondering if maybe he just doesn't have access to one right now. Mm -hmm. But he does look like he has a sky obity end, right? Yeah. Yeah. There's no more energy in the discard. I believe he manually attached that fire. Yeah, so this turn he won't be able to do uh, a knockout. But he would be able to catch something if he has it. He can get rid of the buffalo, and that will help him a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, at least alleviate some threat. He has a catcher in his hand. We can see it right there. Yeah, I think he's definitely thinking about that. Because, I mean, the other Trakian's not the biggest threat in the world right now. Right. I mean, it still takes at least two turns to get anything done. But Christian has put down the Lunatone, which implies yeah. that he has Ether in his deck. And Ether is uh, a card where you look at the top card. If it's an energy, you can attach it. So it is possible for Christian to get additional energies down and be able to use that three energy attack on his next turn which will do a significant amount of damage so he's gonna okay. kill that guy does lunatone have 60 or 70 hp uh, i think 70 70 70 if not 90 <laughs> yeah yeah you know what actually could be 90 yeah i always forget i figured it was somewhere above 60 though which mm -hmm. makes it a lot better <laughs> Otherwise, if it was 60, it would just be one shot. So, right? manual attachment here. He could do a uh, continuous tumble, which is just 50 energy attack, uh, 50 damage attack. Um, you'll need four of those attacks to kill, though. I, I can't remember what the uh, second attack, how much damage it does. I think it's something uh, like 90. one. Sorry. 90. 90. Okay, so Up he stash. will need. He will need. He will need to two hit, uh, no matter what. Um, a so 50 plus 90 plus a laser might be able to uh, take out the Rayquaza, because uh, Rayquaza has 170. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So f laser will do uh, 30 with the Verbank down, so... It's like, a, it's like a triple plus power. There's the laser, mm -hmm. so, so he's got those done, um, and he'll put down 80 damage, which will set up for the 90 damage next turn and if he gets a catcher. Yeah. And he did get the sleep check as well, so... Oh, okay, so it makes it harder for the Rayquaza to retreat yeah. now as well. Oh, the energy was right on top. If he had an ether, he could have done it. <laughs> well, he also has premonition too. He could have premonitioned it and then been like, "Yes, I can definitely ether." <laughs> but I haven't seen him use any ethers yet. He may be just faking it and just playing the Lunatone just for the benefit of top, uh, knowing what your top deck is. Yeah, yeah. Can you change the order of the cards or only look at them? Uh, I believe you can change the order. Almost any time when you can look yeah. at the top cards, you're allowed to change the order just because it's so easy to do it. So they don't want to tell you not to do it, you know what I mean? Yeah, and it looks like he, he just did look at it there, so. I switched them, I mean, so yeah. 
Yeah, because that makes sense. Otherwise, people will be like, I didn't switch them. What are you talking about? Right, and no one will know like except the guy who did it, right? Yeah. yeah. Magicians would have such an upper hand. <laughs> <laughs> well, magicians already have an upper hand. Yeah. If they can, like, shuffle the way they shuffle. And That's right. Uh, so Ken failed the sleep check there, so he might get an additional poison on the way back unless he hits a switch here. I doubt he plays more than two float stones. I love float stone, by the way. I think I actually pulled one during the pre-release pack. Oh, so did I, yeah, yeah, float stones. Gotta love them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I think later on when I eventually get a box, I'm going to be doing a uh, online, or maybe I'll even do a real life box opening video, who knows. People apparently like box opening videos. I've watched quite a few, so I can definitely <laughs> agree with that. Yeah. The only time I ever watched box opening videos was when I tried to discern a pattern mm -hmm. in the, the packs, but recently um, Nintendo has been very good at removing patterns or making the patterns really, really hard to solve. Dang it for us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably better that way. Um, anyways, Ken gets that Caldeo down. Uh, and there's no bench space for it, though, but I think he is predicting that something's going to die soon, so he is getting it prepared. Um, it's not as useful without a float stone, though, and he, two has gone down already, so I'm not too sure. Unless he's planning to just Juniper and get rid of it because he doesn't really need it anymore, can't really use it anymore. Uh, sleep check is checked this time, but he does take poison going there, and he's going to take poison coming back, so that's 90 damage coming down just because of one laser beam. Pew, 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 pew. So there is the Pokedex, which is the other combo card that goes with the ether, allows him to see whether his energies are uh, coming up as well. Christian's counting cards will probably uh, imagine um, either a computer search or an ultra ball in there somewhere. Anytime you see somebody like start counting off cards and like trying to figure out how many cards do I need to discard in order to get this to work. I've done that a few times before. I'm like, hey, if I Skyla for this and ultra ball this, I would still need this. And it's like, Says, but I don't want to discard ball. my only draw support left in my yeah. hand. But I do need this energy. But it's like, but next turn I'll draw for turn. I'll have this. So yeah. Ooh, oh, ether. Yeah. Was yeah. that a fire or a fighting? I think that was uh, a fire. Right? That looks like a fighting. I don't know. I can't tell. Those cards are so shiny. Oh, jeez, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna drop yeah, the, the one on Trakion definitely looks a different color than the one <laughs> on the Trakion EX. Yeah. Well, he so he uh, ethered, and then he attached... Uh, yeah, I think that's a different fighting. That's a darker fighting one from a different set. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah. I th they had some really cool looking energy cards in the past. Whoops. Stupid iTunes, I don't even use you. <laughs> I think my favorite uh, energies are the ones from Harko Soul Silver. Those ones look the prettiest. Oh, so he's going to drop another ether, it looks like he's Skyla for it. So I'm guessing his. He well, didn't use oh, Premonition. Yes, that's, that's true. So he could Premonition and uh, get yeah. ether going down. Yeah, because that's the only problem is that sometimes you think, oh, cool, I've got two energies on top. I'm going to Skylar for this ether. And they're like, wait a minute. And then it shuffles my deck. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, it looks like there's a switch and something else. So no, nothing off for his ether. Well, maybe not. It looked like there was an energy there. Guess no, it was a, it was like a straw supporter and a switch, I think. Were the oh, top two okay, cards. yeah, I saw the switch. Okay, the other card was a straw supporter. All right, so uh, Ken now has room for a Keldeo if he needs it. Yeah, well, he's gonna get the KO on the tr at least the track and EX or one of the other. He's gonna get a KO this turn. Mm -hmm. so he's got one more lightning to discard yeah. uh, now, a couple. So. And uh, Christian didn't uh, energy accelerate uh, off of that second attack there, which means he didn't have any energies in his hand. It actually is very telling, right, to Ken because Ken was like, "Well, he didn't attach energies down. He must not have energies in his hand." And his ether failed, which means he's not going to draw into energies either. So unless he has a um, a supporter in hand that will allow him, which he does, we just saw an end there in his hand, uh, you know, it's going to be a bad news bears for him. He's not going to be able to use that retaliate attack um, from the Terrakin on the bench after the, his uh, active Terrakin EX goes down. Mm -hmm. Super Rod! Oh yeah, because I was going to say, I was like, because uh, Ken probably needs a uh, another attacker to get up here, because unless he can draw into... Uh, you know, did Ken choosing. only put two cards back in? Uh, yes, but I think that was actually all he had. Oh, okay. Because uh, I think yeah, he only had the one other um, lightning energy that he already dynamoted on. 
Okay. Yeah, because for super odd date, you have to do three if you can. Yes, so. exactly. Which is for eels, you always have to be careful because <laughs> sometimes if you miscount, you have to put in certain energy. You don't want to do that. Uh, it's going to play the end very hesitantly. Yeah. <laughs> he knows his hands probably isn't that great. Mm hmm. But A, if he needs the end, he needs the end himself, right? Before he, before he, uh, better do it now, but then before he takes, or then after he takes prizes for him. Right. Alright, so he's gonna. Oh, wow, a third of float stone. Yeah. Whew. <laughs> Might run like 3 2, I guess, then. Yeah. Well, I mean, would you run two Chaldeals or? Uh, I, I run one. Oh, you mean th uh, two switches, oh, three float Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, that's what I meant. Three float stone, two switches. Maybe I even 3 3. Maybe, three. That's how many. maybe 3 3. Who knows? Maybe 4 4. <laughs> well, when I was playing my deck, I was running uh, 2 and 2, and I ran a scramble switch, so I had five options. Yeah. for switches. It, but I think after playing with Scramble Switch and Lugia, I, I've decided I don't really like that combo as much. Um, the thing was was that Lugia and Snorlax do help with the random rogue matches. Um, if you had to play against Kling Clang, you have to play against, I don't know, uh, I wouldn't say Blastoise. Blastoise is more, well, I guess beating Blastoise, you would use Lugia, right? So you had options from there. Um, which helps against other matchups, but I think when we were going to this tournament, a lot of us were assuming everyone was going to play Thunderous Deoxy, which didn't happen to be the case here. Uh, <laughs> oh, see, he is running fire. He's oh, got, he's so got we were seeing fire. Okay. Yeah. I was going to say, if he does run fire, I bet it's for Victimia. Yeah, this so this deck is actually very much like uh, James Good deck that we saw during the regional finals. Um, you remember, he was running uh, one Tracking EX. He's running Landorus, Mewtwo, and Victini oh, that's EX. Right. Yes, 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 yes. Running a lot of Victinis. <laughs> but he was that's not cool. running the Lunatone or, or the Aether Dex, as we yeah. call that combo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Victini is almost a little underrated at times. Like, I find it can be really useful. Other times, I'm kind of like, oh, why is this here? You know, it's, you know, it's, it's one of those cards. It, just <laughs> it has its moments, and sometimes it doesn't. Mm -hmm. All right, so Catcher, I think that might be his last Catcher, if I'm correct. Uh, goes down and he's gonna retaliate and knock out this eel. Uh, Ken just needs well, he won't be able to fully power up, but he could catch her up the Victini EX on the bench and kill that. Yep. With two energies, he just Dynamotor one and attach one from hand, and he'll be able to kill that. So it is a bit risky for Christian to bench that, but uh, he did get an Ether down on that too. So I don't know. Very risky. We shall see. Yeah. All right. The title prize is now three and three. <laughs> it's gonna get rid of another Victini EX. You know, I pulled the Victini EX, or Jasmine pulled the Victini EX during the last uh, pre-release event. Oh, right. Yeah, but we traded it for a whole bunch of stuff. I think I got uh, the Plasma Cling Clang and a bunch of other things as well. Yeah. Uh, but uh, the previous set actually, you know, a lot of cards came into uh, play more than I thought it would. And yeah, see, I if he play, I'm guessing is he playing that title or is he just thinning out his deck? Because I would do it, yeah. Yeah. Because that was if you count like where he has to take his prizes. If he has three, if he takes essentially either doesn't. I mean, technically he could even take the Lunatone, but he has you know <laughs> whatever, right? It's one prize, <laughs> whether Trachea or Lunatone. Um, Trachea is just three lightning energies and Lunatones two, so, um, but, you know, he'll, he'll probably want to take the Victini X in one of those single prizes, right, for his last three, um, but he will need it because if he does take out that Victini X, he is probably going to get retaliated, and, but if you, and if that was his last catcher, awesome, but if not, um, then, yeah, his eel could just get captured up and KO'd, and he would have a hard time getting that last prize. Right. So I think he's playing down the Tynemo just in case, so that if he does take out the Tynemo, oh, fine, go ahead, right? If Christian wants to take that out or his eel, he still has that last kind of help with his energy acceleration, mm -hmm. which I think will, will help him in the end. So he's going to Dynamo 1 on. Yeah. Uh, he has energy in hand, and it looks like he has a second energy in hand, so he is able to deal out 120 for two turns straight. And if he gets an eel back, he'll be able to do 180 on the, the following turn okay. after this. Yeah. It looks like two of his eels are in the discard, so I think that's what he's kind of counting there. Yeah. Um, so I don't know if he has that. Oh, Static Shock. <laughs> oh, interesting. 
Well, okay. that sets up for the 120 damage yeah. by the uh, Rayquaza, so that's fine. Because nothing can one-shot that Rayquaza that's on the bench right now. <laughs> Tool scrapper, yeah. suck it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nothing can one-shot that Rayquaza right now, so it's a really big threat. Um, yeah. Victini only does 100 maximum, and uh, the Terrakian active right now only does uh, 90 maximum. So they're going to switch over here, and I think he is going to use the second attack. Uh, is he going to pull up that eel, uh, the, the Tynamo? What does that attack do again? It does. It does 50, 50 plus 50, 50 if it's an EX. Right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Ooh, and anyway. is it? And it's one fire, two colorless, or is it one fire, one colorless? Well, I hope it's one fire, two colorless for uh, for Christian's sake. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because uh, Christian just put down the double colorless on it, otherwise it would be wasted. Um, double colorless probably signifies he runs a Mewtwo as well, I imagine. Oh, yeah, he ultra bolted away, I think, earlier. Oh, right, right, right. It was a full art, though. It's hard to tell. So much glare. I know. <laughs> Too shiny. Too bling like, for us. Is everything in his deck like full art? I just realized that. I don't know. Christian, Christian's Bala. Full art, too, yeah. Christian is la Bala. So they don't make a full art Lunatone. <laughs> mm. They do make a reverse one, though. Does he have another ether? He's lunatoning, premonitioning. Yeah, Pretty for some reason I think someone was bumping the table, so it's making it like wiggle to my laptop or something, which is making it like wiggle. Or maybe maybe the entire thing was green screened, and then someone was flapping the green curtain around. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you think that? Insert face here. No. <laughs> Oh, we can see on your background you got uh, pictures of dogs from your um, the dog show that you were doing. Uh, it's yep. your YouTube channel, right? Yep. Yeah, insert link here. <laughs> Check out Julia talking about dogs. If you like dogs and you like Pokemon. Yeah. Right now it's a lot of reviews, but I'm adding the other videos. Are I you reviewing know. dogs? You're like, this dog no, is uh, a good dog. No, dog <laughs> subscription boxes. So you can get subscription boxes for dogs too. I review a lot of them, but I also do like some training videos and stuff that I'm adding slowly. Now that I'm out of school, I can add more of them. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm adding one today. If I remember correctly. So it uh, looks like Christian chose to turbo energize yep. um, instead of attack. It's an interesting choice because he does still need to take at least a single prize before he takes a double prize. He, yeah, he end after he switched though, so I guess he didn't know he was going to draw into that Mewtwo, and then he's like, maybe I want to power up the Mewtwo. I don't know. Which is not the best. Yeah, yeah. not right now. Yeah. Because Rayquaza's attack will remove the energies off of it. And Mewtwo does damage when there's energies on. The I'm attack. always, I'm always more than happy to let them take up their bench space with Mewtwo's. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. Your Mewtwo's are useless. Yeah. Sixty damage at a time. <laughs> yeah. I just go after other stuff, and if it does end up becoming a problem, or I need two prizes, I'm like, all right, take yeah. it out, then move on. <laughs> right, and and not to mention that um, that Victini EX is guaranteed to die pretty much this exactly. turn. Yeah. Uh, as long as you know Ken hits a fire energy. But it looks like he might actually have to go with Caldeo here. I thought his ray on oh, is that three lightning. I thought three it lightning. had fire. Oh, okay. No. So he's gonna. His hand had a fire. Technically, he can go for Keldeo. Yeah, he his, can his technically KO with it, can't he? Uh, no. Oh, Keldeo does 100. fifty, oh. so he'll have the laser beam. Ten damage beam. off. Ten damage. Yeah, ten damage. He he attached the fires. He shows that he has a fire energy in his hand. Yeah. Uh, he could have done it with the Rokwaza. I'm not sure why. That's kind of weird to me. Yeah, maybe he didn't realize that the that the score that the uh, damage was a little off. You see, if he ran prisms like I do, is he undoing? He undid it. Uh, I think he did. Yeah, I think he didn't calculate it right. Oh, Christian's so nice. He let him undo his action. But I don't think he's going to let him undo his energy attachment. Nope, he is. Wow, okay. Oh, wow. What a oh, nice guy. What a nice guy. I mean, it is a for-fun tournament, right? Yeah. <laughs> it is a for-fun tournament. And uh, one of the things is that you... We're using this to see how good certain combos and certain uh, decks really are. And the best way to figure that out is to actually, you know, practice to the best situation. So he's going to catch her up that Mewtwo. That's true, because, you know, I'd, I'd rather see what happened if when my opponent made, you know, the best decisions they could kind of thing, right? Right, it, it gives you a better assessment of whether um, yeah. certain things... One of the reasons why I thought everyone was going to play Thunderous Deoxy was because it is a new deck, supposedly the best deck, and it's going to be a very expensive deck. Yeah. So you want to play it in a competitive setting to see whether it's, you know, up to snuff. 
Yeah, yeah. I think David said it pretty well. He said, you know, he decided to play that deck because he needed to know whether he wanted to invest in the cards or not. Right. Right. Because even right now on tro on Trolls World, at least just before the pre-release, I saw it. It was like fifty-five dollars for like one Deoxys. It's so so you it sucks so bad because Deoxys is going to yeah. be a Tim promo afterwards. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> so the thing is, though, if people want to run it, they they're probably going to want three or four of them. So right there, it's like one hundred fifty to two hundred some odd bucks. Right. That's yeah. a lot just to drop on one line. Right. Yeah, and you're not even getting the Thunderous or the Curiums no. yet, which are like the bulk of the uh, that deck. Yeah. And those are just almost just as expensive. Actually, I think yeah, the Thunderous is fifty five, sixty somewhere in there. So we're talking about like a six hundred dollar deck right here. Yeah. yeah. And and you have to build that before July. Yeah. Um, although the Battle Worlds coming up, I'm pretty sure a lot of people will be playing Rogue and all that yeah, kind of stuff. I think more for that reason too. I mean, like <laughs> you know, <laughs> how are people supposed to you know, compute that? Yeah. Hey, if you want to make money, take your Deoxys and sell them at Nationals. Oh, that's right. I do have a Deoxys, don't I? If anyone's interested. <laughs> money, money. Money, money. Yeah, you know, looking back, all my matchups, if I'd run radials, I would have run so much better. Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, I would have had such an easier time. Yeah, looking at my matchups, if I just uh, drew better... I would have such a better time because the w the first game I lost, I didn't draw energies for five turns. So there's the game right there, and yeah. GG. Yeah, there's yeah, nothing that Christian can do at that point. He had nothing set up. He just had no energies for way too long. Kind of like me in my first loss. And same thing, you know, see that extra Tynamo, which became an eel. That's what really helped him win that much quicker because then his other Ray was just ready to go for that last prize, right? Indeed. So. And then the second game I lost, I didn't draw a supporter for you know the three turns that or the five turns actually before I yeah. lost. All right, well, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we'll come back in. We'll watch another game from this first round as well. Uh, will be an interesting one. We'll have more of the new cards in that one, and you yep. guys will see <laughs> what can be done about that. All right, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.